G'day guys and welcome back to Retrospect Reviews. I'm Vince and today we're going to continue our look at a click and point graphic adventure games that I've completed but this time we're looking at the Sierra versions. So let's check out which Sierra point and click adventure games I've completed. Once again these are not in any particular order I've just made a list of the Sierra point and click games that I've completed. The first game off the rank is King's Quest. Now this is a game that I had seen many, many times on the shelves at my local Tandy or Radio Shack. Um, and I used to look at the box, you know, turn it over and just think, oh, I wish I could play this game. But I only had a Tandy Coco 3 at the time and it didn't run King's Quest. Well, not the one I had didn't run King's Quest. But eventually when I got my Amiga 500 um, years later, I ended up with a copy of King's Quest and I thought, I'm going to complete that. So I sat down and uh, went through and completed King's Quest. Next one on the list is Police Quest, The Pursuit of Death Angel. Now this is a one that uh, a mate of mine who introduced me to King's Quest also introduced me to this, who also introduced me to Leisure Suit Larry. Um, he, and I kind of didn't get it at first. I thought, you know, what the heck, what is this game about, you know, Police Quest, you know, uh, wandering through the, you know, picking things up in the locker room, going to the to the uh, meeting, getting assigned assignments, and then, you know, and like every, uh, if you haven't played Police Quest, yeah, it's one of those games that's a little frustrating sometimes. It's so easy to die in it, you know. You don't check over your uh, patrol car, you're dead. You turn out into traffic, you're dead. You know, there's many ways to die. Sierra Games are known for their uh, little quirky death scenes at every corner. But eventually, um, I think me and my mate did complete this uh, together. Uh, we played it until the end. He was better at controlling the police car on the map than I was. Uh, so he kind of did that bit and then we kind of worked together through the puzzles and uh, doing the typing and so forth. So Police Quest, the first one, that's uh, one I, I've completed. Moving on to Police Quest 2, The Vengeance. Uh, this is another one I completed with the same mate. Uh, uh, we're on a bit of a thing of completing the Police Quest, and I don't think Police Quest 3 had came out or we hadn't got a copy of that yet. So that's another one that we went through and completed.
Next game up is Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizard. One of my favourite and first introduction really to the Sierra games. Even though I had seen King's Quest on the shelf, this is the first Sierra game that I actually played and completed. I remember my mate bringing this over saying, you know, typical teenage boys. I think we were about maybe 13 or 14 when we got hold of this game. And we thought every joke was hilarious. Um, anyhow, he wrote out how uh, a step-by-step -step guide of how to complete it. But, you know, it's a, it's a reasonably short game once you know where to go and what to type in. I think typing in everything is probably the slowest part about Legend of Larry. We did eventually get the updated version, the VGA version, where it was more of a point-and-click. But... Um, yeah, so Leisure Suit Larry, uh, one of my all-time favourite games. Following on from that was Leisure Suit Larry goes looking for love in several of the wrong places. Now we were determined to complete all the Leisure Suit Larry games because we really liked them so much. And we played this one all the way through and we couldn't wait for the next game on the list. And the next one on the list is Leisure Suit Larry 3. We completed that one again over another weekend. And we were, fun that we finished that, we were anticipating Leisure Suit Larry 4, which never really came about. They pretty much, uh, a few years later, skipped over and went to Leisure Suit Larry 5. Which I started playing, but haven't completed uh, any after Leisure Suit Larry 3. <laughs> And the last game on my list of Sierra point and click adventure games I've completed is Gold Rush. Now this is another game that can be a little frustrating because you can die at pretty much every turn. This game I've completed a couple of times because there is several ways you can get to the gold fields in uh, California. You can go by land or by sea. Uh, the sea one's always my favourite because when you get to Panama Canal you got to do a little bit of um, tracking across the Panama, 
Panama because at that at that time Panama Canal didn't exist so you had to navigate the jungle and you've got all sorts of dangers uh, on the way and yeah so Gold Rush was one of those games I had never heard of until I went to maybe mate went to a big computer uh, expo at a place called Darling Harbour in Sydney um, the convention center was absolutely packed with uh, vendors selling computer gear, selling games, and yeah, games were going and really cheap. And I picked up a stack of them. Got a lot of stuff, but Gold Rush again would have to be closely second of my favourite Sierra game, uh, just just below Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> Well guys, that is all the Sierra point and click adventure games that I've completed to this day. In the comments down below, let me know which ones you've completed. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and share this video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I upload a new video every week. Well that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Well that's it for this uh episode of 